Back to your old antics. Oh, what's wrong? You can go chill with Decane in Texas, but I can't make money for my family. Mm, that's so cute. Oh, that, this is so cute. Like, the way you're looking at her, though, like, you can tell you genuinely love her. Stop. Aww, look at the way he looks at you, Stella. Oh, stop. I, this is why I never wanted to come back, Because you always do this to me. Mama, stop it. No, I didn't want to come back for this reason, and now we're talking about us. Mama. It's a couple of days. Relax. I had to be. You're leaving a little bit again, and this is why I want to leave. This is why I want to leave. You need to chill, Mama. This is why I drink. Shut up. No, it is. Mama. Yeah. He gonna come back to you. See, crazy. What you afraid of? Nothing. I'm not afraid of nothing. It's just like. Why, why are you upset? I'm not afraid of anything. I don't what care. What are you upset it's, about? Because it's like, he, I'm here. And then it's like, peace. Like, bye. I'm okay, going, you got me for another week. I'm going to Vegas. I'm going here. I'm going there. I'm doing that. I'm doing going this. to Vegas. Then I'm going to LA. Then I'm coming back. It's a matter of a couple of days. I think she's just because she finally gets to like have you back and like you know what I mean. It's just like she's upset. Yeah. No, I get. Yeah. It. Life is expensive. <sighs> God, still no, working. trust me, I understand. Literally, the world revolves around money. He's not gonna take me with him. Are you? No, Mama. You have. Plenty on your plate, Mama. Let's not continue to live in fantasy land. Ginger said, Stella, you guys are going to Thailand, so don't worry. What? We're going to Thailand, so don't worry. Thailand? Up. They're saying, oh, kiss, 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 yes, kiss, 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 kiss. Give him a kiss, Stella. I'm acting like this, mom. No more. It's because you didn't even tell me. Like, you don't have to tell me, but like, I, this, I hate when I find out like this. It, I always, every single time, I always find out that he's just, I, I look over my shoulder and I just see, like, an airline and a city being but like that's all i do i'm like wait what you want like, him to tell you instead of you he just never ever over. ever 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 tells me ever even yeah. during our whole relationship he's never told me when he's like i find out the day of i literally find like why do you do that to me why do you tell me stuff the day of all the time this is a week before. yeah but you wouldn't even tell me Oh, look at our daughter. Mm. No, you don't want to show them? Mm. Oh, she's at the petting zoo. What is that, ducks? It's du she's so happy. Oh, yeah. oh, no, is it chickens or ducks? Those are ducks. Mm. <laughs> I'm just... Y'all, if you have a problem, there's an X button for a reason. Simply see yourself <laughs> out. Like oh, she said bots. It's a sheep. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, that's the cutest shit I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Ah. The sheep one is so cute. 
hurdle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the comments, Stella is saying this is the Stella they want to see. We need this Stella back. Mm -hmm. She's saying bye. That's a big girl. She's walking around in her shoes. I know. She's, oh, she got scared me. Look at that. Wait, wait, listen. Oh, listen. That sounded adorable. <laughs> that was so cute. She got scared of the sheep. <laughs> I love her. Hold on, I want to mute some things. I want to ask him something. Guys, positive in the chat. If not, you're going to get muted. Or you can just see yourself kindly out of this life. Not here for it. No dumb questions or I'm just going to mute you. No problem, I got nothing else better to do. I'm just here waiting for my test results. How is healthcare in Canada? Um, well, I'm at the hospital right now, and it's okay. Like, you gotta pay for certain things, but I don't think you. But it is better than America in the long run, because I don't gotta pay for every visit. But I do have to pay out of pocket for certain medications and stuff like that. Thank you guys. Thank you for the prayers. I'm in Canada too. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Toronto. I still I have to go for um, a CAT scan or ultrasound, whatever it is. They do take forever. Yes, they do. At least in America, like at least you don't have to pay for everything. Mm. Mm, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Oh, Brampton, that's not far at all. Um, he answered that and he said there's not much he can do. Uh, the real, oh, thank you. I've heard that you get free healthcare in Canada. Yes, you do get free healthcare in Canada. Mm hmm you okay, Stella? Yeah. We were just supposed to have family time. And, like, now it's going to be pushed back. Yeah, and it's upsetting. Wow. Yeah. I was supposed to have be with my daughter, too. And all of us together. Yeah. yeah. Don't let it bug you that much. Because you're going to get it. 
Yeah, I just don't. My daughter needs both of us together. She needs to see both of us together. Yeah, it's always better together than apart, for sure. But don't let it bring you down, Stella. You were just so happy. Oh, smile, Stella. I'm gonna see Amina later. The way I just want to come over there and give Stella a hug right now. I don't like when you're sad. You're welcome. If you guys still have any questions or anything, just don't be negative. Because people have to work. No, I, I don't do anything crazy. With me. I just sit at her job and I eat food and we talk. And she's the one who literally... She's the one who she wants me with. She wants me with my family and doing things I should be doing and the right things. Mama, except guess what? Nothing changed. I always I'm gonna have to work. I look fat from this angle. Not that. I always have to work, Mama. There's times where I'm here, all alone with you, doing nothing. And then there's times where I gotta work. That's how it is. So how about instead of running off with Amina, you enjoy the time that you have. Instead of crying about it. Instead of crashing out about it. Come here. Hey. I'm just hungry. Okay. What do you want, princess? I'm hungry and I'm sober. I need it. Oh my god. I'm frustrated with you. You're acting like an alcoholic, girl. I'm not an alcoholic and don't say that. Don't say that. You acting like it. No, I'm not acting like it. I'm just saying like. <laughs> so what do you want? That's not a new man. If you know, that's her baby daddy. So not too much on her. Your Colombian food. It's just last time it's like that fucking oh didn't come out good what if i just that bandeja came with pork I'm Ew. Like, what the fuck what about chick-fil-a <laughs> oh my god yes get chick-fil-a i can't eat anything uh, you don't Chick understand <laughs> here pick it up the addiction this woman has with chick-fil-a <laughs> customer you guys have so much more better food though in America. I'm not even gonna lie. You made my heart like. Oh, I forgot you're not you, American. You made my heart like. You guys have Tim Horton. Yeah, we have Timmy's. Yeah. Poutine. Yeah, poutine. That's oh, it's so good. I know. <laughs> I love my poutine. They have Tim Horton in New York, but. Yeah, I know you guys are starting to get Tim Hortons over there. I, what one thing I do want to try though, and I see videos on it, is canes. That looks so good. Yo, canes it's just the sauce. It's the sauce, and then if you do like to put the Texas toast with the tendies and the sauce and the fries, then it's good. Me and DK ate mm, nonstop. That so good every single day. He put me onto. He says if you're gonna get canes, you have to get well done fries and well done chicken. Well, you you can ask for your chicken well done and stuff. Yep. Really? And he said something about the butter, butter. He know how he talks when he's like butter, two sided butter. <laughs> yeah. Two sided yeah. butter. Okay, tomato. You know, I'm talking about all this food is making me hungry, <laughs> and I can't eat anything. Why not? I'm waiting for uh, ultrasound. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're, wait, for, you're, are you pregnant or? No, 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 no. They think I have um, kidney stones or gallbladder. 
Yeah, so I'm just here waiting. No butter. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's why I was like, I can come up and just do your stuff for you, Stella. I don't mind. I got nothing else better to do. <laughs> Hold on, I'm ordering my food. I want... Besides Coca Cola, I want to look at extra mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Bell, thank you, baby. Two millimeter. Oh, hell no. I don't want that. Are you? I'm. They gave me morphine, but I'm coming off of it, so my pain is coming back. Mm. So like talk about him. That's what... this is my but be- my baby daddy's literally like my best friend. Like you don't get it. Like he's not just my baby daddy, but that's right. Even if we're not together, even not nothing. Like I'm I'm honest as fuck about a lot of shit with my baby daddy. Mm. But like you know, like like. For real, for real, we end up talking about, we end up talking and then like, even if, even if something's going down, like that he don't, he doesn't like or whatever, like all he needs to do is literally see me in person and we need to have a conversation in face to face, like real life. When it's over the phone or whatever, like, yeah, it's different. It's not, we're we're not connecting. Like our bond is not like connecting. But if we talk face to face in person, like he's, Like, he just understands, and I understand, too, about stuff. He's going to Vegas and L.A., and he thinks he's slick, but someone gave you house key. You put new house keys on the on the thing. Get, why don't you get it so I can show them, since you think you're all... There was an extra key on the house keys when he gave me the house keys. I was like, whose is this key? It's not a key to his other apartment. It's like... It's a key to a house in LA. Who's in LA? But whatever. Let's not say ta- let's not say too much, right? Let's not say too much. <laughs> it's fine. I really don't have a place to say nothing. It's fine. Let's not say. Let's not say. Let's but, talk about the tattoo then. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the. Let's talk oh, about wait, the polka wait, dot. Wait. The polka dot. Let's, let's, wait, talk about let's the polka just dot look at where both of y'all. Y'all both are sitting beside each other. Let's not talk about the past or anything. <laughs> I love y'all both. Who, I, I know, but who gave him house keys, bro? He, he's not paying for an apartment in LA. Oh, but somebody. I love you still. Cool. Cool. A house key? Okay. <laughs> Stella's literally me with my man, though. I can't. You <clears throat> said his other girl lets him. Uh, nah. I don't know what he got going on, but all I know is that that's my baby daddy. That's it. If you're honest, he needs to be honest. He just laughs at stuff off. He just laughs shit off. Like, he's like, <laughs> That's you know, what they always do. They stuff. always laugh it off. You say what you say, but like, do I know though? Do I for real? For okay, real? I will take a video of me unlocking the house and showing you the occupant of the house. Okay, cool. Because I am not a liar and I don't need to cover up. That's what happens when you live in your truth. Or better yet, have your gay realtor buddy search up the address. See who lives there. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he ate. He ate that up. Eight down. Eight, what'd you say? Eight down. Eight down. You're in your flop era, sis. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just using internet. Like a flop era. Ow. So. so. Go enjoy the fall in New York. You're booking me to New York? Well, (laughs) 
This bitch want to go to New York in a hurricane, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? We got to go up, and that's where the damn storm... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's like, you're acting like I'm procrastinating or avoiding. It's just like, bro... <laughs> Little girl needs her parents. <sighs> Yeah, Amina's a good influence. She's the one She who... talked some sense in her last night. Thank you, Amina. She did talk some sense into me. Because she been through the whole... Don't speak on that. She talk. been through the circus. You went in the circus. I guess I want to go see her. I want to bring her flowers. Did you guys get food? I got pizza. Oh, that's that sounds We've been trying to. What? <laughs> Everyone in the chat's like, we've been trying to, to. <laughs> you Makes sense in her. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, it's got to be from the right person. Otherwise, it just goes one ear out the other. It just hits different. It hits different, which is why I crashed out yesterday, which is why I blew up Red's phone and I was going to pull up to Red's house and I was really going to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, I was crash out city. I was like, I was telling Red, I fucking love Amina. Ugh, I don't like it right now. I'm like, it was so funny. But yeah. I'm not staying here. I'm going on a flight after the hurricane and I'm gonna go see my, see my family and shit. He wants me with my family. Girl, come to Canada, come to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, I like this version of you, Stella. Thank you. What's up with everyone in Florida dressing like it's cold out? <laughs> You're in Toronto too, he. Yeah, you should totally come to Canada. You should. I don't wanna go to Canada alone though. Girl, you wouldn't be alone, I'd be here. Okay. okay. I'm in Toronto, I'll show you a good time. Period. Trust me, you won't be alone. I don't like being alone either. Alexis said, I'm... Oh, Lizzie! Oh my god! That was so cute! Lizzie! Thank you! Oh yeah, Lizzie asked if she could get in a box. Oh yeah, of course. Hey! Hi! Okay, so, we've known each other for a long time, girl. A long, long time. And I honestly see you happy, and this is your peace. Is with him. <laughs> I'm being honest and I want you to do good I deal with bipolar and I know how it is being manic and I'm a mom and you know that and I understand where you're coming from but for him to forgive you and everything that's somebody you need to stay with I'm being honest there's no man that will be like that and put up with everything that I you know your your stuff you know I'm not judging you and I sent you my phone number. It's in the, you know, in your uh, TikTok messenger thing. We're not friends on here. Oh so, yeah, you like sorry. Um, but I'm here. Okay, I may, you know, I did take a break because of my mental, but that's because I had to work on my mental. But like I said, he, he's worth it. I'm being honest. And I don't want to make you cry or anything, but Stella, when I saw you acting the way you were acting, girl, that's very manic. And I was like, damn, I did that too. I did that too in my past, and I regret it. You know? I regret the times that, I'll be honest with you, my two sons, uh, my best friend who passed away in 2017, I became very into alcohol and everything, and I had to let my ex-husband take care of my kids for two weeks to get me better and I regret it I regret that time but I can see you happy with him he is your peace and it's hard to get a guy or a baby daddy or 
whatever you want to call it. I don't like saying baby daddy. Honestly, I don't. The father of your child, that way. It's hard. And I'm older, you know, I'm 36, believe it or not. I'm 36 and stuff, but honestly, I feel like you need to, you know, make it work with them. You're right, Lizzie. I don't want to, like, like, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to rush anything. Where, no, just, take your time. Make it, y'all need to just work it out. But the thing is, with this other dude, I don't even want to say his name because then that means he'll get some clout. So I'm not even going to say his name. I'm from Texas, so I didn't even know who he was. Oh. oh. I'm from Lake Jackson, Texas, baby. You see what I'm saying? I'm from really from Richmond, Rosenberg area, but I moved to Lake Jackson. But I don't know who he was. And the seller I fell in love with was the one who was taking care of her child and being a mom. I watched those old TikTok videos of the T pages when they did you, oh, Stella's taking or having family time. Stella's having that. That's the stuff I love to see. Now this wild Stella, I don't know. It makes me think of my past. You know what I'm saying? And when I saw you last night and you're going all crazy and stuff, that's yeah joking about you know drinking and stuff i'm telling you i'm four years sober and i'm trying to tell you you do not want to regret your decisions and girl i'm gonna tell you this because i'm gonna be like a mama to you okay you need to get that damn tattoo removed okay that boy ain't worth it he didn't write your name on him did he no he didn't did he nope no so how's that fair there's a song i want you to listen to it's by christine aguilera it's called you can't hold can't hold us down and it's about basically a guy can do whatever they want but a girl can't there's a song you need to listen to on that but like i said i've known you since day one and i love you with all my heart mm -hmm. and i feel like you need to take him back and stay away from no offense to Texas I love Texas but the tra Texas trash over there I'm gonna say it Texas trash and when my country accent comes out that's because I'm a little mad because I'm like frustrated because I'm like come on girl come on you know but I feel like some of these people that you have on here that are commenting and stuff are just haters and they want to see you not shine in the words of cat williams if you ain't got enough haters you ain't doing your job right and the thing is and i'm very proud of you for ignoring them because i don't know how hard how i say this nicely i barely go on live honestly i'm i'm trying to get back into going live i don't i'm trying to think how to say this very nicely i don't know how how strong you are to have people saying what they say to you because I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. And you're a very strong woman and you got this. And I've told you that. I have told you, you got this. But I understand where you're coming from when you had to take a break. I understand that. I went through it. But like I said, you'll realize you'll regret it in the future. That's why I'm hoping that you will decide you know, to work it out with your, the father of your child and, you know, stay away from this trash. I'm sorry. He's trash. I don't even know him. I never heard of this kid. Never. You know? And I know it's a lot, but like I said, I deal with bipolar, manic bipolar disorder. I take medicine, yes. And... I have severe anxiety disorder too and ADHD. So, like I said, you you need to focus on yourself, your daughter, and your baby, your father of your child. He's your peace. He makes you happy. Yeah, I understand the whole abandonment issue because I can see it too. I can see it. You can say you don't have it, but you do, girl. You do. 
and that's understandable but you have to have friends that are going to talk to you and treat you right you know what i'm saying like not put you down not have you go drinking or having a good time like that there's you can do other things you can go get your nails done you can you can go watch a movie have like a movie night with your girls have a slumber party like i lost my best friend um from she was drinking and driving i lost her and the sad part was i was supposed to go with her that night and i had a funny feeling and i told her no i'm not gonna go i'm sorry and her death just recently came up on october 3rd so her birthday is october 2nd so yeah um so it's hard it's hard losing a best friend but when i see you acting the way you're doing on the cameras Sometimes it's best to like not show, you know what I'm saying? Like not to act out because these T pages are going to, you know, do this to you. The T pages are going to make you look bad no matter what. They're going to cut everything to make you look bad. Like you talking about taking plan B on here, you know, and all that and drinking while you're taking plan B, which is not good, by the way. You don't do that. It can affect it. But that's my piece, and I love you. Love you too. And I sent you my phone number. Um, if you still have Discord, I still have Discord. You should have me. Oh, that anymore? But I wanna. I'm gonna text you though from my actual phone. Okay, I'm here for you, girl. I may be from freaking Texas, but I'm here for you. Like I've been through this stuff. I know how you feel, and I may get hate by other people who don't like you, and that's fine. But. When I saw you that day that you were crying in the car and you're having a manic dis, you know, manic uh, anxiety disorder, anxiety attack, actually a panic attack in the car in the Uber in Texas, I told you to calm down, take some breaths. But like I said, I think a lot of people would love you with the mom, you know, the mom stuff, you know, but if you and him want to work it out, I would do counseling. Work it out. And thank you whoever is gifting me. I appreciate that, but you don't have to. Um, but honestly, I feel like you need to work it out with him. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to text you from my on my phone okay okay i'm always here okay i mean yeah i know like like i said i know like i went ghost mode because it was too much but like i said to a mama to a mama i can be like a mama to you i don't care i'm old i'm 36 okay i'm always gonna be here for you always my phone never goes you know my phone works both ways you can call me you can anything it's going to be between me me and you i don't tell nobody our business that's how it's supposed to be and that's another thing is you got to watch who you make as a mod too and that's why i've been telling you thank you um thank you for everybody skipping like i said you don't have to uh, but like i said i feel like our conversations have to be between me and you, no one else. But I feel, see, I can see you smiling. He, he makes you happy. He just found a picture of us and showed it to me. When I'm I was, telling you, was, was you smiling. need to stay with him. You need to work this out. You really do. But I'm gonna let you go so you can have other people on, but I sent you my phone number. Alrighty. I'll talk you. to you later. That was actually really sweet. I love her. She's been here for since the beginning. Like, like I almost cried. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> that was really sweet. Oh, Stella. There's a lot of people that genuinely love you and genuinely want to see you do good and want the best for you. And that's the people you need around. Not the people that just want to go out and use you for the clout, all that stuff. You don't need that around. You don't. These people that want to see you do better, that's what you need in your life. Aww.
And um, one second. The CO girl Aspen, she um, wanted to come up and say some things to you. I made her mock. What did, what did she want to say? I don't. Wait, um, what did you want to, can you just write in the chat what she wanted to talk about? Because I just, I haven't. Um, yeah, no, she said that she wanted to come up and say things. What did you want to talk though about? Because I feel super sensitive right now. Miss Hustler said that she wants to join too. She's one of your mods. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Lizzie. Just my brain. It's it's too long to type out of the chest. It's gonna. It's a good thing for you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna add people, guys. I just want to soak in what Lizzie said to me because, like, my my mind, my chakra. What is it? I don't know. Whatever in my brain, like. Need to hear that. Why is everyone ignoring me? I've been here since day one. Alexis, what happened? I'm gonna make you mod. I'm sorry. One second. Oh, I didn't even see you commenting, Alexis. I'm sorry. I've just been people are like taking me and adding me, so I see it faster. And then I tell Stella. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop, Jay. What's up? Hi, baby girl. I just wanted to. I'm not. Over, I'm gonna try not to overwhelm you, but I think that the most important thing here is making sure that you do what you want to do, not what everybody else wants you to do. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. If you want to go out and have a good time, there's always a way to find that balance. You can do both. Like you don't have to just do one or the other. Um, if you don't want to stay, then don't because it's just going to create issues in the long run, which you don't want. Um, and time is going to heal all and patience is everything as well. Like time will tell and it will show you what you want and what you need. I think it's probably really hard for you to have a thousand people telling you what to do. Um, because internally, you probably don't know exactly what you want to do, but you kind of feel what you want to do. And for me, um, I find balance in everything. Like I like to go out and party and have a good time with my friends. I go to music festivals all the time. Um, and then I come home and I own my own company. So I have to work. I've, I've found a balance within that. So I think